What is going on, guys? The Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to another day at our shop here. And we got some stuff that we bought off camera. And as you guys can see, this is our this is our new truck. Now, I bought this as is. So this, I didn't put these on, but this is has to be by far the worst set of wheels i've seen on a ford f-350 like let's be real so these are 25s by the way so these are 25 inch rims <laughs> and they don't fit like they don't fit at all they don't look good the ride quality is terrible because the truck's so heavy and then you're just pretty much riding on the rims and the truck is nice though it's a really nice truck very clean like i'll show you guys here like look at that very clean ford super duty but whoever put these wheels on really they didn't do a great job now fun fact this particular ford is not a diesel this is a gas powered ford f-350 uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, let's, um, they called it a V8 boss. Boss! Uh, let's see. This truck, yeah, it just has a V8 boss. Uh, it is a 4x4. Uh, engine has 381 horsepower. So, as you can see, this Ford, it's not the strongest, and it is also not a diesel. But it's a uh, pretty nice, nice one. And also, I had went to buy something. All right, don't judge me. I bought a Detroit Special. All right. So this car is, they took everything. <laughs> Look at this. They took everything. So this is a 2015 Dodge Charger. Or not, not Charger. This is a 2015 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. And this is a Detroit Special, baby. They took everything. Everything from it. Everything off of it. Uh, they took everything engine related. And it's pretty much was abandoned. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what would be pretty cool is if we could do a video to where we restore this car and pretty much bring it back to life um fun fact about this car is this car only has forty nine thousand seven hundred and ten miles on it this car has less than fifty thousand miles and i just so happened i just so happened i had got a uh i have a hellcat engine i do in fact have a hellcat engine ready to go into that car right here and this is not a stock engine this engine alone is making some power all right this one has been built um from the ground up and so we're going to be putting this engine into that car but we have a lot of work to do and we only got $27,000. And we don't have a transmit. We have a transmission, but it's a stock transmission. Um, so our plan is to pretty much try to get this car running, driving. And that's going to be hard to do. But I'm going to put it in the shop. Hold on to your butt. So now that we are in the shop here, we have the car on the lift now. I'm going to raise it up. Take a look at that underside. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild from, like I say, everything. Is I could just go out and buy a brand new Hellcat, but I don't got 50, I don't have $150,000 to put on a Hellcat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build ourselves a junkyard Hellcat, which some would say that it will cost you more and the engine alone will cost you more. The engine. I've spent a good money. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I did spend pretty good, pretty good amount on that engine. And I could have just went with a stock engine. 
but I was like, you know what? Let's make power. And so our 2008 Challenger, uh, that orange one that's outside, if you, so I, I'll go out here and show you. This is a 2008 and it's running a similar build of basically like an offset Hellcat. Uh, it's not an actual Hellcat engine, but it is equivalent to a Hellcat. It's like a, it's a Hemi super, it's a supercharged Hemi pretty much. And this car, if, so if you don't believe me, this car is making uh, 1,401 horsepower. And that is what we, that's what we put the, the car at, man. And so, our Challenger is making some power. And so I kind of wanted to make an actual Hellcat with the actual Hellcat engine and see if we can actually make more power than our 2008 and just kind of start like a, a little bitty, um, kind of start a little bitty Dodge collection because I also bought another car from a garage, uh, a barn find, which is a Plymouth Roadrunner, which is a really you know you can't get more of a race car than that and i also i got another car but i'm gonna i'm gonna wait to show you guys that one in another video because uh it's a pretty nice one it, it's a pretty nice one so anyway we're gonna see if we can tear this car down here from the front we're gonna change out the cross member probably change the, the knuckle the steering make sure this car can actually run like go around a track it was pretty much what we're doing we're not building it to go around the track, but we're building it so it can have the option to go around the track. All right, let's go ahead and do this side, and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we're going to get started working on the rear now. We have the front cross member and everything off the car. I'm going to pretty much, I'm going to finish stripping this car down, and we're going to get it over to the paint shop so we can kind of work on it but before we get it over there we're going to give the car a nice bath and see exactly what it needs as far as like um body work and see what type of you know panels uh doors trunk seats uh of that nature that it's going to need so we can put a little list together of parts to buy so and yeah, it's gonna be fun I'll see you guys in a minute. One hour later. And we're going to finish making it a shell, pretty much. So we're going to take these left of these. The windows that was left, um, this air intake box got to come off. And then this whole, this whole fuse box. We're going to take it out now while we're here thinking about it. Because uh, everything has to be, like, replaced. We're replacing everything. We're not leaving anything fresh. Or we're not leaving anything old in this car. So we got that. So now, this window. And then we got to get that other fender off. So we come over here. This fender got to come off. And now, that's it. That's a whole shell on the Challenger. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the car wash. We're going to wash it. Detail the... Well, hold on. Before we do any of that, we're gonna take these seats out. No point in washing them. I just want to wash that that in wash that inside. So we're gonna take it over there real quick. Here she is. I'm gonna give it a nice scrub. Nice scrub. wash it see what we're dealing with as far as rust as you can see a lot of rust this this car has been abandoned for a very long time it's a 2015 and it is 2024 baby so it's been sitting a while a very long time so they, that inside cleaned up nice didn't it so now that we have a base of what this car is and what it looks like we're going to go and um, show you if we can fix this rust. 
the next day. Okay, so we just got done spraying our um, Challenger and this is the new look of our car. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. So we just got done, we primed it and so that way it's all solid color. Fix all the rust. Look at that. Looks so nice. So now, here's the fun part. Is uh, we're going to get the fenders and stuff. Um, the fenders, the hood, the doors, the trunk, the bumpers. We're, we're going to get all of that. Um, and we're going to install it. But we got to try to get this car back over here. So we're going to put this back over to the shop real quick we can just paint it one solid color we're not gonna worry to do it we're not gonna worry about the windows we're not gonna worry about them tail lights either no then our front bumper Ooh, look at that yeah yeah so there you go guys our car is coming along very well our hellcat is about to be cat in a minute so now that we have the car in the way that we want it we're going to try now to make it so it's a rolling chassis so we're going to get it so it's going to be rolled into the shop so we can stop using the forklift so we're gonna raise this car back up in the air and finish our suspension. All right, so um, I got everything powder coated, and so we're gonna start installing our cross member. Look at that! Look, look at that! So we basically, I did not buy one of those. We gotta get that too. But I pretty much um, oh uh powder coated all the undercarriage parts like the cross member and stuff so it's gonna look pretty nice when we get done with it so when we get everything installed it's gonna look really nice it's gonna look brand it's gonna look better than factory to be honest with you it's gonna look way better than factory oh, look at that so we now have our suspension done all our suspension is now done all we need now is the engine so without further ado ladies and gents the hellcat is about to get her powertrain well actually no i i, I want to get this car painted before we do that so we're gonna i really wish i had some tires laying around i gotta check my storage and see if i have any wheels so do we just sell the wheels off the Ford? That's what I'm thinking. That's what we're going to do. We are going to put these wheels on our Hellcat. They should fit. They should fit. I don't want these wheels on this truck anyway. I really think they should. They should fit the car. We're going to see. They're 25. There's a big wheel. So we're going to see. Moment of truth. They might have a, they might rub, but let's see. Oh, they fit. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna use these because uh, I don't have, I don't got the funds to fund it. Our Ford just isn't going to have any wheels until we can get it. But we can roll the Challenger over to the paint now. And uh, this is where we're going to try to get this car painted. So, but we need some money. Because we got to get paint. <laughs> so, we... The Ford ain't going anywhere. I hate to do this to my truck. I really, 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 really hate to do this to my truck. 
but we're going to sell some parts off my truck. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Today's a good day, man. Look at this. So the next time you guys see the Hellcat, this car is not going to look like this. It's going to look way better. So let's get to it. Look at that. Look at that. And cutting up now. Ooh, that paint look good. You need a wide body on it too. Look. <laughs> man, it needs a wide body, man. It needs a wide body. But these are not the stock wheels. But man, I kind of want to run them now because they look good. Look at that aggressive. Man. Ooh. All right, back to the paint or back to the shop we go. Super excited because you know what, guys? This is the final thing, and this car will be running and driving after this. I'm gonna install our new engine. Look, oh, oh, look at that! Yeah, live, man. Look at that. Got ourselves a Hellcat. Now the only downside is is that we have a stock transmission. <laughs> we have a stock transmission but a built motor. So yeah. And here's the fun part. We gotta buy all these accessories. That computer. Oh my goodness. We have a, well we do have this, the brake server already, so that's good news. Washer tank, the that, and then you got your ECU. Yep, got a lot of parts. Alright, so we are in the current process of running our exhaust. We just got our mid pipe. And then we got this is our first this is our first set of resonators. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And now we're gonna run our rear muffler. Just like that. Only thing left now is going to be our transmission. Now remember. The only type of transmission we have is the stock. We can't afford a built transmission. So we are gonna put back the original transmission that we had. I don't even know if I can afford a dang pressure plate. Let's see, I can afford it. It's a stock transmission anyway, so it doesn't matter. Officially ready to put fluids into our engine and fire it up and see how much power it is making on the stock transmission. Ain't got that kind of money to be filling these tanks up now, so I gotta be extra careful. Honestly, do we need washer fluid? Let's be real. Washer fluid is a is a luxury. That is a luxury. The only thing left now is the washer fluid, which we have enough money so we can go and fill it up. Right, here it is. There she is. We're gonna lower it down. We're gonna put the windows and the headlights in real quick. So here she is. Look in. Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. But uh, let's see what it's making on the dyno. Eleven thirty-six, my man. Eleven thirty-six with the stock transmission. That's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I know it can make more. I just I'm running stock transmission, stock clutch, and 
Yeah, these are and these tires are not even for it. So let's go to the drag strip real quick and let's do a run. Let's race um a Tesla. felt pretty fast I know my 60 foot was terrible because I got a lot of wheel spin on that <laughs> all right we're racing a BMW this is a twin turbo BMW at that so oh my god look at him go yeah we lost this one that's for sure but we're, I'm hawking them at the end I was hawking them I was hawking them. We're not it. We're not bad in between times, you know. As you can see, the BMW was a 7.4, and we're running an 8.2. 107 miles per hour on the BMW, but I was at 104. Like I say, I launch. Nah, launch is not there. But once when I start getting that that momentum, we're coming for you. So. Not too bad. Ladies and gentlemen, well, there you go. Our build on our Detroit Special Dodge Challenger Hellcat. We brought it back to life. And uh, without a doubt, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm, I am going to tint the windows and I'm going to try to see if I can find some tires for this car. I might run these wheels, but I might actually just go ahead and get the SRT wheels because... Um, yeah, these, these are not going to cut it in drag racing, um, but they're different. That's one thing you can't lie. It, these wheels are definitely different uh, on this car, but I'm very satisfied with the Hellcat. It's running pretty good. Uh, not only did we get the car back together in the car, it is a 2015 model, and it did sit for a couple of years and whatnot, but... We did finish the car up. We got it nice. We fixed the bodywork. We got all that rust gone. We replaced a lot of panels. We got it painted. So we did absolutely a lot in a ton. And every everything on this car is brand new except for the interior. But it didn't really need it because they the interior was still attacked. Um, so why were you know if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we're just gonna leave it as is. But there you go, guys. We are making money. Well, we're not making money. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos, and uh, comment down below. What should we try to find or build next? I got one car that you guys are going to see in the next video, but I'm not going to spoil it. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. But anyway, peace out. Get it. Early bird gets the worm and the Yankee fitted like who bags under my eyes and you know won't complain I'm tired of